Oh, okay. Ow. Um, actually, no, it's not that bad. All right. How do I flippin' play this sound? All right. Uh, I don't want to play that. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, buddy, 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 buddy. God damn it. Okay. Hi. Oh. Hi. We're going to learn how to play Merchandise by Food Dog. Food Doggy. Sorry, my dog is right there, and I was looking at my dog, you know. And I uh, got confused, okay? That's fine. But uh, we're gonna learn how to play Merchandise by Fugazi <laughs> uh, on guitar. Here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> So, first off, yeah, it starts off with just, I mean, originally this is supposed to be two guitars, but I'm going to try and do this with just one guitar. But basically, so, you take your pick hand, just get used to doing this up and down, just like a metronome. But anyways, so... So, but you just do this throughout a lot of this song. And, um, so yeah, so basically I would start by just putting your whole hand, all four fingers, on all of the strings. And then, you, you get your little pinky out, <laughs> you, just, you stick it out like that, and then you kind of, you could use your other hand to guide it to the five on the D string and and then you just kind of you hold that note down or yeah get used to like just keep this pinky on this note you don't even have to press it down yet but but now you can get into the rhythm of so so the rhythm is chick chick all the notes, so I'm going to call muted, all these notes muted as a chick, okay? So chick, chick, and then, and then that's, and after two of those, you, you put your pinky down and you actually play the note, but only for that one little second. So, so that was the whole thing. So, chick, 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 chick. And then you just keep repeating that. So basically... Um, so yeah, that's the rhythm. So just I would just practice that to just get the rhythm of when you're pressing your pinky down to play that note. So I would start off slow or whatever. And then, uh, so let's see how long that goes in the song. He even does. Uh, he even does. But, like, it's up to you if you want to do that. It's kind of. Unless you're, like. You'd have to be pretty skilled to go. Or doing that kind of stuff. And if you are comfortable with that, then do it. But you don't really have to do it. It's not a necessary thing, I guess, if you don't want to do too much work to learn this song. But So let's see how long it does this. It does it for a while. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. So then after the... After the fourth time, after the fourth time, it goes. 
So I would just so really he does. So now your index finger is on is also on the three on the E string as well as the pinky. It's basically the octave chord, but a lot of it is muted. But you keep these two notes, these two fingers on the notes, and you're basically pressing them down when you have to press them down, which is so, so, but, but really he's doing But if you want to do a simple version, you can go. So just that. But yeah, again, just like these two index finger and the pinky finger, they are in control of this, of how, what's going to come out of the guitar. And this 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 arm is just always doing this. Um, that's all it needs to do. So yeah, let's see how many times it is. It. So it starts off. With, it starts off with just only doing. The, just the pinky note. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. So four times of just the pinky note, and then four times of when the E string is added to the riff, the three. But I would just keep practicing that whole strumming thing, slow as you want, and then, yeah, and then we'll go from there. But let's play the whole thing. So then, when the bass and drums get in, I would say you don't have to worry about the low E note anymore, and you just play everything with the snare, basically, that five. But you're still doing this drum thing, This you're still, it's still going. So let's start. gets to the chorus I would say so which is so it's so it's basically power chord two on the E string but the rhythm so you kind of just move the do a zero two kind of thing but the rhythm is so basically, th this finger is going so, but, but you, you're playing the whole chord, so So, 
So yeah, so and then F or uh, two on the B string, A string, two on the A string is that first other chord, and then back to the thing. But it, it switches to the five on the A string at a different time, so. So I would practice that slow and just go. And that's that part. That's the only other part. And then so let's see. Let's get to that. When we have the thing left to give. So basically just two things of that chorus. And then it gets back to the just the hitting the five. You It's kind of doing the same thing where it just plays the two things for the chorus, but and then you go back to the five palm muty thing, or not palm muting, but the five and the chickas. But every all the other instruments are doing something different. It's just you basically holding the rhythm now. But let's see what all the other instruments do and for how long. So. So after that certain amount of time, when the bass comes in, so then you're getting back to the pressing the three. So you get back into that after playing for a little bit. kind of get a feel of when the this next part comes in so what the drums and stuff does 
Um, but yeah, so it does that for a long time, and the bass and stuff does stuff, and then. Yeah, the da -da 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 -da. that's when it goes to this next part, which is so it's just power chords and three on the E string, and then four on the E string, and then five on the E string, and then back down to an E, open E on the E string, and then three on the A string, and then you do that again. Let's see. So, yeah, so, so then you do that, I think, four times, it sounded like, and then you switch back to the four, the nor, it's a normal, oh, fuck. Well, my other camera died, but whatever. So, basically, um, yeah, you switch to... That whole thing, the normal, or uh, how long does it do? It does it for a certain amount of time, but that's the final thing. So, and also for this part, like, they really do. Like, it's a strain it's like an intense strumming pattern but um you don't have to do that but you can if you want to because it's basically that whole thing that's what the drums are doing but well you can go you kind of let the notes ring out as well but anyways that's Fuga uh merchandise by fugazi so let's start from zeiss beginnings is shall we all right this is this is fugazi's song called merchandise my other camera died so i have to do this but Merchandise by Fuda Merchandise by Fugazi on guitar. Full song. Here we go. <laughs> 